As you might notice, the uh, new lawnmower is up on jack stands. Um, now it turns out that there were a couple of issues with it. Now, number one, when I sat down on it and started it up, it started up fine, but as soon as I brought the wings in, it shut the engine down. Now, to me, that sounded like an electrical problem. And lo and behold, the seat switch, both of these wires broke off right at the crimp on terminals. So I am intrigued as to how that could happen where both of them broke off at the same time. That just seems really strange. But we're going to fix this. I'm putting on some heat shrink tubing. Let me twist these up a little bit so that they stay together. And then a couple of bigger pieces here. We'll see why in a bit. And then I'm going to crimp on some new connectors. I'm going to take and slip the big tubing over the end of these. And run the small tubing up on the inside. What this does is this will act as a strain relief to take some of the strain off of this connection right here where they both broke before. This will make it harder for them to flex in a way that will cause fatigue to the wires. And we'll just 
slip them back on <coughs> in a uh, perfectly gently fashion. Mm. Perfectly gentle fashion. <coughs> and we have there a little bit of uh, a little bit of room. Kind of think of it, I might want to put some sort of a guard here. I mean, this isn't a real sharp edge. They did uh, deburr it quite nicely, and the uh, the coating on here is okay. For now, I think this is good. The second issue is a bit more difficult. It is more mechanical. Uh, when the engine is running, and I try to engage the blades, it completely bogs the engine down, which to me indicates that the blades are probably jammed. The first thing I did is I took these covers off. You can see here there's a diagram of how the belt runs through the mower blades. And there's an adjustable idler pulley here. This is the drive, and these are the three blades. I pulled this off to see if the uh, belt had somehow jumped and gotten caught underneath one of the blades and it wasn't, you know, it was jammed up there, but it looks like the belt is operating just fine and the jam is somewhere else, which is why I lifted this up because I want to get a look underneath it and see if the blades are jammed uh, from the bottom side because if they are, that's a pretty easy fix. I can usually clear the jam and get it uh, back running very quickly. All right, this is to show you just how dark it's getting as I'm trying to work on this. The days are getting shorter very quickly. It's, uh, I don't know, 6.30. Okay, so I got one blade there, one blade there, one blade there. This one looks suspicious. Although they're turning without a lot of binding. Oh. Hi, Piper. Yes, you're very healthy. Hi. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. <sighs> Dogs are very healthy. So an interesting note about the blade design on these, these are little lifting fans and they're on this, you know, this side as well because this is where the outlet is and it pushes everything out the outlet hole into either the outlet chute or the bagger attachment. I have both. And there's a little bit of binding. It doesn't feel like it should be that much. I'm going to try and take the blade off and see what happens. All right, I'm going to try and do this. And I'm going to try it with the other two. Oh. Mm. 
This one is difficult. Try this one. problem. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about this a bit. sharp edge. <laughs> no, it's not that sharp, but it is uncomfortable to hold. This is the part where an impact wrench would be really good. This is not working the way that I would like it to. I'm gonna have to find another way. All right, this is really difficult to see, but I just took the belt off of the drive pulley. So I'm going to start this up and engage the drive pulley and see if that stalls the engine or not and I'm also going to try and turn the blades by hand when they're not attached to the uh, driven pulleys. Well, that one goes pretty easy. That one goes pretty easy. That one is free spinning. So, these don't seem to be binding up at all or very much anyway. Nothing that that engine shouldn't be able to spin over with no no issues. Watch it, Doug. Out of there. Okay. That has a switch on it as well. You know, this thing may be working fine. And that was disengaging because of the uh, seat switch. So let me reattach that belt and we'll put it down and see if that fixes the entire thing. This is a pain in the butt. 
This is a pain in the butt. Okay, now to engage the idler pulley. Mm. Thank you, Piper. You are very sweet. Yes, you are. You are a very sweet girl. I would like to get out from under here, though. It would be really nice if I could. Yeah. Do you think you could let me out? Do you think you could let me out? Hmm? No. I love my dogs. It's a 10 millimeter. <laughs> oh nice, okay. Spring. It's a springin', springin', zingin'. What are you? There you are. Springin', springin', zingin'. first. That is not a thing of joy. Put those there where I'm not going to lose them. There's probably an easier way to do this. I just don't want to flip you around.
Ooh. This is a workout. So close. <sighs> I have to move this light. That's something that I could pull that with. Make it easier, but I don't know what I could have that would do that. Uh, I don't have it connected back up, but I got to call it a night. It is getting too dark and too late to really be of use. I'll try and work on this tomorrow when it's more light outside. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a tough one. I have some ideas, but uh, I want to see if I can find a better way. It is the next day, as you can probably tell by the light, and it's doing a little bit of rain, so I'm not overly pleased. But, we may have a solution to getting this thing back on. And uh, I feel kind of silly because physics brain should have, uh, should have gotten this. But um, the idea is that this pulley over here is much more, uh, has a longer lever arm to be able to move this stuff. So, put those in here as well. So I release the tension on the belt. I'm going to pull this off, move it up here. Make sure that all of the belts are routed properly. And then, <clears throat> whoa. 
Whoa, that's close. <clears throat> and that's how you do it. <laughs> well, you know, it's a good thing to know. Uh, yeah, it was much easier putting that on. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to button this thing back up, uh, get out of the rain, go back in, and uh, I'll come out and start it up later and try it out. start these by hand just to uh, to get them in there it makes it a lot nicer to make sure that they're properly seated before screwing them down <clears throat> there we go says he found a really big stick Every stick is a dog stick. Okay. I got to put the battery charger on it. All right, I'm going to let that charge for a while. Uh, evidently, I left the key on overnight, which that's not really good, but you know, drain the battery. It's, it is what it is. Uh, charge it up and I'll come out and fire it up in a couple hours and we'll see if Miracle of miracles it's been fixed
So, uh, lessons learned. Simple thing like a switch could be the only problem, even though it sounds like a mechanical issue. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got bit. A little bit of hubris, but that's okay. The mower is working again. I can go about the mowing and leafing duties as I need to. Uh, wait until it stops raining, though. All right, that's it for this week. See you guys.